grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. And a very warm welcome to Paisley Abbey on this fourth Sunday after Trinity, the 5th of July. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son Jesus Christ has taught us that what we do for the least of your children, we do also for him. Give us the will to serve others, as he was a servant of all, who gave up his life and died for us, but lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Priscilla will now read the Gospel for today. The Holy Gospel according to St Matthew, chapter 11, verses 25 to 30. At that time Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent, and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Familiar and wonderful words of our Lord. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. As I understand it, a yoke is a wooden beam fitted between a pair of oxen or horses. It allows them to pull together on a plough or a heavy load. A yoke is designed to make a hard job easier, to forge the animals into a team sharing a common burden. Most of us, at some time or other, have burdens to bear in our lives. And in these days of pandemic, perhaps more people than ever are weighed down by burdens. For some, there is the burden of their own illness or the illness of a loved one. The burden, perhaps, of uncertainty about ongoing employment or of redundancy now. The burden of not being able to visit a loved one in hospital or a care home. And then it might be the general burden of living a life pleasing to God that weighs upon us, especially when we feel that an angry word or selfish deed has denied the faith we profess. Whatever the burden we are bearing, the invitation of Jesus is the same. Come to me. Come to me, take my yoke, and together we will bear the burden. 
When we take Christ's yoke, we discover that we are strengthened when we are weak. We're given courage when we're afraid. We're helped to be generous when we are tempted to think only of ourselves. Whatever we have to face in our lives, let us face it yoked to Christ. And if we do, we will indeed find in the words of the Gospel, rest for our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now hear a recording of Bruckner's anthem, Locus Iste, sung by members of the Abbey Choir, after which Julian will lead us in our prayer of intercession. We now turn to seek God through prayer. At the end of each section, after I say the words, Lord, in your mercy, you were invited to say, hear our prayer. Let us pray. As we now focus our bodies, minds, hearts and wills, we pray to the God of all creation. We pray for our Queen Elizabeth that she may continue to do your work for our nation. We pray that all world leaders and their governments find a means of authority which comes not through force and domination, but through cooperation and mutual respect. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who cry out for rest and relief all those who carry terrible burdens that weigh them down. We pray that we can grow in maturity in our thinking and in our loving, that we can become strong to do your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We call to mind those who have left this earthly life, both those well known to us and those dying unknown and unnoticed all over the world. We give thanks for all those whose lives have touched ours and for those who taught us how to love you better. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for the human potential for good and for your gift of grace which makes such goodness possible. Compassionate, merciful and ever-loving God, 
Hear our prayers, which we offer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now sing the hymn, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. Amen. 